Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to True Crime Tarot TV, where we jump into unsolved mysteries, missing person cases. Um, yeah, and today we are going to look at the John Dubow and the Dexter Pelt case from the uh, from Green County, Alabama. The Ledexter Pelt and John Dubose case, okay? So this is highly requested. I normally don't do these types of videos, but um, yeah, these guys have been missing since November. And from my understanding that there has been a suspect that has been arrested. And there is indication that um, the there has been indication that these young brothers were murdered. So we just want to find out what happened, what's going on, and where are they, where, where we can find them. Something that we can shed some light on, okay? Okay, let's get started. First, let's clear the energy. Spirits of the highest light rights, please give me clear messages. I invite you into this reading. Please give us clear messages, Holy Spirit. Please protect us from anything that is not like you, Holy Spirit. All right. Spirit, what what's going on? What happened? What happened to LaDexter and John? What happened? Show us what happened. Holy Spirit, what happened to the Dexter Pelt and John? Please show us what happened. What happened? Okay, we have unimpressed. Doesn't care about the mundane. Being too good for something. Not interested. Okay, so... Maybe somebody, um, what I'm getting is somebody didn't want to do this. They was unimpressed by it. The deranged, weird, strange, twisted individual. Yeah, somebody was unimpressed by something, but somebody was acting crazy about it. No limits. Yeah, willing to stop at nothing. What happened? What happened? unimpressed, deranged. I'm getting that these were the people in Sacramento. They were unimpressed by these Alabama boys, and one of them was already deranged, weird, strange, twisted individual, and they snapped. Holy Spirit, show us what happened. Thank you. Married. One of them could have been married. One of them could have tried to um, talk to one of their Significant others, I don't know. Married and divorced, damn. Okay, so broken relationship, lost connection, severed ties. So somebody here was married and then divorced. Um, Take it how it resonates. We have grown. We have not with the childish games, has priorities straight, not willing to downgrade standards. So somebody wasn't playing games. Holy Spirit, show us what happened to the Dexter and John. Show us what happened to the Dexter and John, Holy Spirit. What happened? Please shine some light on this situation for their family and friends, Holy Spirit. So that they can find some type of peace, some type of closure. Holy Spirit, what happened? Please show us. I did that. Let me do that again. Please show us what happened to LaDexter and John, Holy Spirit. What happened to them? What happened? Okay, we have sharp tongue. This person has no filter, saying nasty-ish, has a tendency to say very critical things about people. So somebody could have had a slick tongue, could have was, you know, talking 
reckless, talking sideways. This situation involves cycles, death, and rebirth. Someone's attitude towards change and personal growth. So, yeah, somebody's mouth got them into a whole lot of trouble is what I'm getting. Um, underneath the deck, betrayal, backstabbing, disloyalty, doing you wrong, betraying trust. So somebody could have felt like they got played, they got manipulated, they got backstabbed and betrayed. Um, anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else, Holy Spirit? One-sided love. Yeah, this ne doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic love. This could be, like like I said in the beginning, unimpressed. I'm getting that somebody didn't want to do this. It was one-sided. One one person was all for it, and the other per person was like, nah, bro, you know, I don't think we should do it. I don't think we need to do this. You know, I don't think this is no good idea. And another guy like, man, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? We, gonna, we doing it. That, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Self-love. Yeah, selfish. Somebody was being selfish in this situation. Only looking out for themselves. Holy Spirit, what else? Only looking out for themselves. What else? What's going on with LaDexter? Role model. Yeah, this person looked up to him or he looked up to this person. It was a role model. Being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. Yeah, so this person could have had a lot of um, street cred, street popularity, and this person looked up to them. They wanted to be like them. They, you know, aspired to be like them. Okay, anything else, Holy Spirit? What's going on with LaDexter and John, Holy Spirit? What's going on? Shed some light on the situation, please. And thank you for their families and friends. Holy Spirit, what's happening? What's going on with Dexter and John DuBose? Holy Spirit, anything else? Anything else? Having receipts. Okay, somebody has been keeping tabs, taking notes, and keeping all of the details. So somebody has some type of receipt, some type of evidence, some type of proof, some type of text message, some type of message, or some type of something they know something, okay? Nosy, all up in your business, asking too many questions, want every single detail. Yeah, whoever this person that has all the receipts is, is being nosy, asking all kinds of questions, all up in the business, trying to, you know, get information. But they got all the receipts. They got the proof. Holy Spirit. What else? What else? What's going on with LaDexter and John? Holy Spirit, please give us clear messages. Clear messages for LaDexter and John. What happened? What's, what happened? What's going on, Holy Spirit, with LaDexter and John? Okay, we got Heartbreaker. It's insisting on popping out. We got a person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everybody can have them. Okay, so one of them... <laughs> Somebody could have been a playboy, play, you know, player type. Had a lot of hills, you know. <laughs> Holy Spirit, what's going on with LaDexter and John? What's going on with LaDexter and John, Holy Spirit? That's too many. Holy Spirit, what's What's going on? Any messages? What's going on? Intelligent. So somebody is very smart. They could have had a um, college degree. They could have... Um, okay, so no. What I'm getting from that is somebody thought that they were being smart. Somebody was trying to play games. You see how this female here is sitting here playing the game of chess? It's like it's, this game is chess, not checkers, okay? So somebody thought that they were being smart, that they would one up. One up somebody, okay? Underneath the deck, we have the fifth house. One's hobbies, interests, recreational, and leisure activities. What one does for entertainment. You see what I'm saying? So somebody does this um, for entertainment. They do this for fun. 
You know, they play games for fun. Okay, they think they're be they 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 like to be smart for fun. <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit? What's going on with Dexter and John? Give us the situation, Holy Spirit. What happened? What happened? Give us the situation. Okay, bystander. Some um sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for somebody being hurt. So yeah, somebody seen it all go down. Somebody saw and they're not talking, they're not saying anything, but um a bystander to me is just as guilty as the person that did it because you're not saying anything. So um yeah, we have slacker, someone who avoids doing work, prioritizes doing nothing, takes shortcuts on the job. And then we have acting a fool, okay? It says someone who knows they are being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. So, yeah, somebody could have been reckless doing something, um, you know, impulsive. Yeah, underneath the deck, we got balling. Having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full. So, Somebody was um, materialistic. They were all about the money. They were flashy. They liked the, um, you know, nice clothes, matching shoes, you know. They like to look fly. Okay. Holy Spirit. Any additional messages? What's going on with the Dexter and John? Give us the scoop on what's going on with the Dexter and John, Holy Spirit. Anything else? Okay. All right. We got third house, how one possesses knowledge, rules, communication, one's generosity, and social life. Third house is uh, all about communication cards. So, um, like I said, and it's falling under this one-sided love. One person, one of the guys could have told the other guy that they didn't want to do this. Like, they didn't feel right about doing this. And, um... He wasn't hearing it. Digging for gold. I can't make it up. Marrying for money, not love. Wanting to spend all of their partner's cash. Get into a relationship for material things. I can't make this up, y'all. So, yeah. Somebody didn't want to do it. And it cost them. Always partying and playing games. It cost them. Yeah. Man. <sighs> Holy Spirit. Okay, let's 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 get another dig. Holy Spirit. Please show us where they are. Let's point us in a direction. Show us where are the Dexter and John. Help us to find them, Holy Spirit. Help us to bring them, bring them home. Where are they? Please show us where they are. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Underneath the deck, we had the Eight of Swords. Okay? So... Um, yeah. The Eight of Swords talks about being in a mental prison, a mental entrapment, being surrounded by your thoughts. Um, but clearly in this picture, we see that this person is in a coffin, surrounded by swords, swords or thoughts. So, um... They could have been buried alive, is what I'm hearing. The will of fortune. Karmic. The karmic will of fortune. Okay. Holy Spirit, show us where they are. Please point us in the right direction. Wait, I didn't know that one was turned over. Please show us where they are, Holy Spirit. Show us where Ledexter and John is. 
Where are they? Help us to find them, Holy Spirit. Help us to find them. You guys, if you like this um, kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Um, so that I can get you more videos like this out. If there's anybody that you want to see me do, please drop it down in the comments. And I will be more than happy to. Um, yeah, to bring people closure, to bring them justice, to find their loved ones. Holy Spirit, please help us to find LaDexter and John. Where are they? Show us where they are. Show us where they are, Holy Spirit. Show us where they are. Show us. Thank you. Okay. We have the three of wands, okay? So, um, that looks like a huge body of water. Somebody could have been standing out on a, like a lake house or a patio or something. Like, this is the innocent, oops. this is that innocent bystander, whoever saw it all go down so they put them on a boat and they took them out to the middle of nowhere and i feel like they dropped them off okay let's keep going underneath the deck we have the world the world talks about um completions closing out of cycles endings okay so this place, this um, body of water could be close to a castle type place, maybe. Like this huge mansion. You see they have water right here. And you see way off in the distance, there's this boat. Okay. And again, another, in, another bystander. So I feel like there are people that was around when um all of this went down it's I'm, I'm hearing like it's more than one person that saw it okay holy spirit show us where they are where can we find them where can we find the dexter and john holy spirit where can we find them where can we find them Please point us in the right direction, Holy Spirit. Where can we find them? Where can we find them? Where's, where's the Dexter? Where's John? Where's the Dexter? Okay. The Emperor. The Emperor is a boss, a father, a figure. I mean, a father figure, an emperor, a um somebody who has to have control by any means necessary, who likes to be dominant in situations who likes to, um, yeah, this is an authoritative figure. This person could be, um, he could be an entrepreneur. He could have multiple businesses. Like I said, this guy is an emperor, okay? So that means he runs an empire, okay? Again, underneath the deck, we have the world with this castle, and the emperor, so the emperor lives in this castle. All right. Surrounded by, there's mountains. There's this lake or river. Okay. Holy Spirit, show us where they are. Where is John? Where is Ladexa? Thank you. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is my victory, my recognition card. Um, I feel like a lot of people in town know what happened. These are the people that, that's in that little town where the phone was found. These are those people. They know. Underneath the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. But they have so much loyalty to these um other brothers they're not talking holy spirit where are they 
Where is Ladexia? Okay. The sun. Sun talks about um, enlightenment, happiness, fulfillment, abundance, prosperity, growth, fertility, happiness. Okay. So what I'm getting with this card is they could be off in a field. You see how all this abundant, this greenery, the flowers, a garden maybe. I would tell, you know, I would check the gardens or, you know, farms or some type of, some type of, you see this landscape here, like in a field. Okay. And then underneath the deck, we have the hermit. Which talks about self-reflection, um, going within to gain um, wisdom. But I'm not really focusing on what the car is meaning right now. I'm really so much is looking at the scenery because we're trying to find um, details as to where they are. Okay. So with that being said, again goes back to my first card over here with this huge body of water again another body of water I feel like um I would check either the farms the plantations or check the rivers um if I'm not mistaken um Sacramento Sacramento River is about 45 50 miles away from where the cell phone was found okay so family friends y'all if y'all know anybody that's connected to these brothers this um to, that's connected to ladexter or that's connected to um john y'all tell their families to check the sacramento river check the sacramento river y'all okay anything else holy spirit Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, again, uh, water, boats, okay, Knight of Cups, like I said, I'm not really focusing on the, the message of the card, I'm just looking at the illustration, the illustration clearly shows two boats in water, so these two boats to me represents two bodies, okay, the Knight of Cups talks about um a person a liar, you know, if you look at this card, you can see, you see the dates on these calendars, on these, you know, right here, all of them say Sunday, June 20th, June 21st, June 22nd, so this person is trying to get people to think that it's one way and it's not, so I don't know, take that however it resonates. But again, underneath the deck, we have Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles talks about um, abundance, happy, happy life, happy wife. But in this illustration, we have, we do have two coffins um, right here. So I feel like this card, the two coffins paired with these, these two boats, y'all, they are in, they in the river. Check the Sacramento River. Tower. Tower talks about things that's being um being exposed coming to light. And I feel like we just did. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it right there. We I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay, underneath the deck we got the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody was paid to take John and LaDexter out into the middle of the ocean. They paid somebody to do this. But like I said, with the tower, things are being um things are being exposed what's done in the dark coming to the light clearly that's my what's coming you know you can see what's done in the dark is coming to the light truths are being exposed and i feel like um this reading is going to bring some type of truth some type of clarity to this situation you guys tell them to check the sacramento river i can't stress that enough or some form of body, some, some form of water that's around the area where they were. Check all the, all the, all the rivers, all the lakes, all the streams, 
all the oceans, whatever, whatever body of water that's nearby, check it. Death. Okay. So yeah, that's what happened. That is what happened. All right. Um, let's see. Let me get one more deck, and I'm gonna pull one more card, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it out. Holy Spirit, any additional messages regarding? Oh, okay. We got two. We got the King of Earth, which is the King of Pentacles. This rep represents a masculine energy who could be an astrological Earth sign or have dominant Earth signs in their chart. A King of Earth displays traits of loyalty, stability, pragmatism, gr being grounded, down to Earth, and practical. He is slow, moving, methodical, and unwavering. He is sensual and loves luxury. Okay? So, again, like I said, um, I feel like it was one of them was more on the... Um, materialistic flashy type side and the other one was just more mellow more down to earth um i feel like the, the person that was more down to earth um he did not want to do this but um there was loyalty so and we have beginnings a new dawn has emerged this is a time to celebrate change newness and growth Beginnings come in many forms. This could signal a time for a new job, home, relationship, idea, or creative endeavor. You have worked hard to get to where you are. Stop to appreciate all the steps you took along the way. Okay, so I feel like one of these um, brothers probably were about to start a new beginning, maybe a new job, a new a new career, something. Um, he had a new opportunity coming towards him. Okay. Any additional messages? Or he wanted a new beginning. Maybe they thought that um, this opportunity would give them the means to have a new beginning. Holy Spirit. Any additional messages regarding LaDexter and John? Holy Spirit. Any additional messages? Okay. We have battle armor. This is an omen to signify the importance of protecting yourself. It is time to raise a shield and ground your energy so that you can be in balance during any tense situation. Be mindful not to put up a wall so big that others who have good intentions cannot get close to you. Protect yourself, but don't isolate yourself with mistrust. So I feel like with this card, they definitely had to fight. Um, they had to fight for their lives. Um, yeah, for their independence. Healthy independence is needed at this time. You're meant to thrive by your own efforts and partnership with the help of and offerings from others. This can also be an omen to remain independent of drama. Don't get involved in other people's situation. Go solo. Abandon fear. Make your dreams a reality. Don't get held back. Yeah, like I, I said, uh, and it's coming underneath this one-sided. One, somebody didn't want to do this. But they went on anyway. Queen of Fire. They was driven by their ego, by passion, by temptation. Okay. All right. Let's get one more and then we'll close it out. Holy Spirit. Any additional messages? Okay. They said that's it from that deck. Let me pull an angel message. Let's see if we can get some more clarity, confirmation. Holy Spirit, are John and LaDexter in the Sacramento River? Holy Spirit, yes or no? Are John and LaDexter in the Sacramento River? Yes or no, Holy Spirit? Are John and LaDexter in the Sacramento River? Holy Spirit, please show us, show us where they are. Thank you. We have opportunity. Okay, so this could have involved money. Okay, Holy Spirit, our John, our John and LaDexter in the Sacramento River. Yes or no, please give us clear messages so that we can give the family some type of um, peace, closure, and understanding. It says take action. That means get out and go look for them. Go, go, go look. Choose a new direction. Okay, choose a new direction. I feel like go check the Sacramento River. Holy Spirit, are they in the Sacramento River? Yes or no? Please give us clear messages. Are they in the Sacramento River, Holy Spirit? Yes or no? Yes or no, Holy Spirit? 
Yes or no, are they in the Sacramento River? Are John and LaDexter in the Sacramento River, Holy Spirit? Please show us where they are. Please show us where they are. Are they in the Sacramento River, Holy Spirit? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no, Holy Spirit? Are they in the Sacramento River? Somebody don't want it to come out. Are they in the Sacramento River? Yes or no, Holy Spirit? They do not want this to get out. Are big happy changes, that's a yes. Success, again, another yes. I'm going to keep going until that yes come out. Are they in the Sacramento River, Holy Spirit? I want y'all to see it for y'all selves because I can't make it up. Are they in the Sacramento River, Holy Spirit? Let's see. Let's see what this is. It says you're ready. And underneath the deck, we got yes. Okay? We're going to end it right there. Thank you guys so much for um, watching. You Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, share this video, uh, get it out to their families, their friends, so that we can get them, get them home safe or well, not safe, but you know, get them home, get the family some, some type of peace, some type of closure. Okay. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye you guys.